This is an XAR video demonstrating how to install our swell flap blanks um, within the BMW diesel engines, within the intake manifold, um, you find these fitted, these swell flaps. Um, it's a very common problem over the period of the life of the vehicle uh, for these to get all coked up and for these spindles on occasions to work their way loose. Um, this can cause um, this metal to enter the engine um, causing um, irreparable damage. Um, our swell flap blanks are designed as a preventative measure to be installed in the intake manifold uh, to prevent any risk of damage to your engine. We offer these in the 33mm size or the 22mm size. Um, these will fit all manner of vehicles. Um, please check out our website for more details. These are made from billet aluminium. There's nothing to go wrong with these. Um, and they're fitted with a, a vital seal uh, which can deal with the elevated and um, varying ranges of temperature um, inside the intake manifold. We'll now show you how to fit these. We will now demonstrate how to remove the intake manifold. Um, first off, disconnect the negative terminal of the battery in the boot. Just set that aside and put a towel over the terminal to stop any accidental contact. Um, we will now remove all the engine covers. Remove these blanks from the manifold. You need this for later for accessing all the bolts that hold the manifold on. Remove the pollen filters. Repeat this process for the other side. Remove the two pipes going into the cabin. Remove this trim, this will just prevent the manifold from rising up. There's a few plastic screws here that just need unscrewing. Remove the GR valve. Remove any ancillaries attached to the manifold that prevent manifold removal. You can see on this vehicle, we've got the battery point here. And we've got the dipstick, just remove those and set those aside. Remove any electrical connections at the rear of the engine that will prevent manifold removal. Um, it will vary what is fitted here by vehicle. Anything that's going to get in the way of removal of the manifold, just disconnect those. Remove all manifold mounting bolts. There's 12 screws here, these don't come all the way out, and then there's seven bolts, these gaps here, and either end of the engine. You can now lift up and remove the intake manifold. Cover up the ports whilst working on the manifold on the bench just to prevent any particles getting into the engine. Once the intake manifold is on the bench, just check that all gaskets are still in place. If any of these are missing, um, don't convince yourself they weren't originally fitted, they will have been. Um, you'll need to track those down in the engine bay. Um, make sure you don't lose any of those. Worst case scenario is that they could have fallen into the engine. Um, if that is the case, they'll need to be removed. Lift off the operating rod. And release this from the vacuum pump. Now set that aside, we won't need to reattach this and when we fit into the vehicle, so there's no swells to operate anymore. Um, need to keep the vacuum pipe where it is and also when uh, refit into the vehicle, remember to fit this electrical connector again. If you don't do that, it will throw up an error on the dash. 
removable screws holding the swirl flap in place. To access the bolts on this swirl, you'll need to remove the vacuum valve um, just temporarily, just so you can remove those and fit the blanks. And then lever out the old swirl flaps. And then fit the blanks. Refit the screws. Two on each swirl blank. Refit the vacuum pump. That concludes the install of the blanks. Um, you can now go about refitting the intake manifold to the vehicle. Um, a couple of pointers when refitting this. Um, make sure again these gaskets remain in place and um, don't lose any of those um, also when refitting the intake manifold just make sure you don't catch any wires um, between the intake manifold and the top of the engine um, it's easy to do so to just take care and take a little bit of extra time um, if you check out our website um, you'll find pictorial instructions for this repair that gives you a bit more guidance on the reinstall to the vehicle um, if you need any further guidance you can call us on 01843 446643 or you can email us at sales at xatar.co.uk. Thank you.